Hey, what's up guys? Flank here, back for another episode of, uh, of Minecraft. Uh, as you saw in that little, uh, in that little intro there, I've, uh, I've punched a hole into the roof of the nether, but, uh, but I'm not there quite yet. Uh, I thought I'd show, uh, how the villager farm is, uh, well, the villager trading hall is coming along. Um, I didn't make any new villagers other than I made four, four new, uh, clerics. As uh, rotten flesh trades are uh, by far the best trade that we have. As uh, we get it uh, really cheap, as we have a uh, uh, just the hostile mob farm that uh, is constantly producing uh, rotten flesh. And uh, also have some more uh, armorers. Um, I don't think I, I I didn't notice. I'm pretty sure when I was making this, um, but this guy doesn't actually have a trade for iron, so this guy is probably gonna get removed soon. And I uh, got my librarians up here on the uh, the second ring. I'll probably do uh, villagers that give me emeralds on the bottom, and then uh, more useful villagers on the top. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, officially pretty pretty rich on emeralds now, which uh, which I'd say is pretty good as uh, in here. We have uh, we have quite a few, pretty much just in my spare time as I'm uh, not doing much. I'll just uh, I'll just do some uh, simple trading, and uh, yeah. But that's uh, that's not what we're doing today. Uh, because I punched the hole in the roof of the Nether, uh, you could probably see that I'm going to be doing a uh, gold farm, gold farm stuff. Yeah. Uh, I really want a gold farm, as I, uh, if, I, if, I if I look at my, my richest chest, uh, we're running low on gold. So even if I wanted to, uh, to expand my system here, I really can't, as, uh, there's, uh, there's just not enough, uh, there's not enough gold to, uh, make villagers uh, low on, like, uh, give us permanent low trades. So I'm gonna have to, uh, have to go. Uh, I have a little bit of gold in there, I guess. Um, but I have, I have quite a few apples. Um, but just not enough gold. So today I'm going to be making a gold farm. Uh, gold farms are not the hardest thing to make but uh, they do require time and grinding out for materials and uh, that will take a little bit of time so uh, I'll see you guys uh, once I'm in the nether so I can just kind of show you where we're at one, one of the biggest regrets that I have <laughs> with this uh, with this nether is where I put the portal in the overworld uh, I kind of put it at like one of the furthest away points to me, so, oh well, what are you going to do about it? But uh, yeah, you can see we just have, uh, we just have the, the barren red nether roof, so there's uh, there's not much that I'm going to be, uh, not much that I could do here, uh, other than just making a, making a gold farm. Uh, I'll make some torches so uh, I can find my way back. I think the biome that we want to build this in is the nether wastes. So I'll just like go deep into the nether wastes, like over here. And just a one, one quick elytra fly away. 
and uh, we'll start building it over there. But the uh, thing is that I need in order to, uh, to make this farm things like glass and uh, slightly more importantly, uh, magma blocks. I don't have any magma blocks. Actually, I think I have four, like exactly four. So, um, I'm going to need to, um, I'm going to need to get some. And that's going to be a little bit of a grind. I think I'm going to need like a shulker box full or something. Holy. Uh, so I'm going to have to do that off camera, unfortunately, as, uh, it'll, it'll take a, it'll take a little while to get, uh, to get magma blocks. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I was I was trying to do like a like a funny comeback and like start flying or something, but I just ended up killing myself. So that was, that was a little stupid of me. Um, but yeah, I'm back. I've uh, got. I'm not sure if I have everything. I have about a shulker box full of stuff for me to, uh, what should I call it? Uh, make the farm with. But I'm not entirely sure if that is uh, going to be enough for what I want. So, uh, yeah, a big a big thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, this. This is going to be kind of similar to how I did the uh, the guardian farm, as uh, I am using someone else's guide for this. Um, the The basic design for this is. Uh, essentially just a, like a, not a crusher trap, but a, um, an entity cramming trap. So I have a bunch of mine carts and then I have my iron to make more mine carts. So pretty much if you put 24 iron into a, a mine cart or 24 mine carts on one thing, mobs will die because it's, uh, it's maxing out the entities. So it makes it, uh, makes it a pretty efficient farm whilst at the same time giving you a pretty decent XP farm. So that's that's the design I, uh, I intend to go for. I'm doing this in such a weird way. Um, so this is going to be like a... Hey, I've made this section. Now I'm moving on to here. This is what I've done here. This is what this does. And then just kind of going through like that. That's going to pretty much be what this farm, like this build is going to be as uh, it's not my design. I'll leave the, uh, I'll leave the design I'm using in the description as uh, it's pretty simplistic and there's a lot that you can do with it. Right, well, not a lot. I, I do think it's a little bit of exp a little bit expandable, as uh, you can make more layers onto it. But uh, pretty much, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big ring around uh, this thing. Also, there's all the magma blocks I got. I think I'm gonna need to get a little bit more, but it should be fine. I also just realized I literally do not have enough levels to use all my name tags. Actually, unless I name them all the same thing. That'll be a later thing. Um, I'll be back once I have the uh, once I have the glass placed, as that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the first little section of this. So I'll be back. Okay, um, I finished the first part of this uh, farm. Uh, I also uh, I bridged out. I I confused this part for like the next part. That's all right. I also made this little ring down here to just have like a little storage platform. 
But uh, all of the uh, all the stuff are in uh, all the minecarts are in here. So if we run into it, oh no! There we go. Yeah, these things uh, will make noises. Uh, unfortunately. So. I don't even. Okay, not that. Might be players. Not players. Um, voice speech. Not that. Where Where is this under? Okay. Then I'm just then I'm just gonna bring them back one by one. Probably, uh, didn't I? Oh, I guess I. Uh, but yeah, these things will, uh, these things will kill you. So, uh, yeah. And there's also little chests down below. Um, these chests are temporary. Just the video told, like, said, like, hey, put these chests to collect the gold. Uh, when I'm done with the farm, I'm gonna probably uh, do an item sorter with it, where I'll, I'll round them all up, sort them out between ingots, nuggets, flesh, swords, and then any other, yeah, like swords and armor and stuff if they spawn with it. Actually, I don't even know if zombie pigmen can uh, spawn with uh, that stuff, but I'll find out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna progress on to the uh, the next part of this. So I'll be back. Okay, I uh, I finished the next little section of the farm here. Um, this part looks kind of complex. This is basically just a funnel. Uh, I followed the tutorial. The tutorial probably does this in a weird way. I probably could have figured this one out on my own, but. Uh, Basically, it's just a, it's just a path to get them to fall into here, and uh, yeah. So uh, now it's uh, now it's making the blocks out of this place. So I'll be back once I got that glass placed. Okay, I. Uh, I finished the glass part. The glass part wasn't that bad. It's uh, it's 24 blocks away from the uh, the center where the scaffolding is, and uh, basically it's just a five by five platform. This was uh, probably the easiest part. Now it's the not so easy part. The uh, the, the magma blocks. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a bit of a pain so uh, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is uh, once I build a like once I build the one quarter I'm going to uh, or once once I build the first ring I'm just gonna show you the dimensions of it and then I'm going to just finish the build We'll finish most of it. I know there's a little section of it that uh, I'll probably uh, talk about for a brief moment right at the end. But yeah, I'll be back once uh, once a decent amount of this is done. All right, I'm uh, I'm back. I uh, got this first ring done. If you're wondering, I uh, I'm on peaceful. The reason I swapped to peaceful is. Uh, a, a ghast spawned and I'm like nope don't want to deal with the ghast um so yeah uh, as far as magma blocks uh, I'm gonna need to do another run of magma blocks I, I kind of as expected that to happen but oh well 
Uh, I'm going to need to get a little bit more than a shulker box. So when I go, I'll probably fill up this shulker box too. Um, yeah, at this point, uh, this is the ring. Uh, the ring is a little complex as uh, how it curves. So uh, if you want to learn how to make this farm, I really recommend going to the guy's tutorial. His tutorial is uh, definitely easy to follow. And uh, yeah, so I, I just recommend watching the tutorial. Um, but like the, the, the main thing is Pikmin uh, spawn on here and then we'll run to the middle, fall, get crushed, die, XP goes to you, gold goes in there, yada yada yada. That's basically how this stuff works. Uh, I'm going to do three layers, as uh, that's what the video did. But I'm pretty sure if you wanted, you could make more layers. And you could also uh, expand this out. But uh, I think it's fine. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to wrap up this, uh, the layers as uh, I'm going to do two more layers of magma blocks and then I'm going to do a layer of slabs to prevent ghasts from spawning. So that should be uh, that should be pretty good. So uh, I'll be back uh, once that's done. Okay, as you can uh, as you can see the the farm is uh, functional now. Um, it's 100% AFKable. Uh, not entirely sure if I would classify this as highly efficient, but yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. And they uh, they still just come through the middle, and uh, yeah. So a very a very big thing is uh, is swords. I gotta I gotta get swords out of here. So, uh, it's not going to be, uh, or, I mean, actually, I don't even know how, how long this episode's been, actually. I've been working on this for a couple hours. So, it's kind of, it's kind of in a weird spot. But, we're at the point where, you know, gold is not an issue at all anymore. Um, I never, like, it's not that I didn't have enough gold, it's just, it was, it was just annoying. So, uh, yeah. So one thing that I need to do that I, I'm not actually sure if I can, yeah, no, I can't. So, on the, on the outside of this, uh, this thing, to, to make sure, because it, I really hope that guy didn't fall off. Yeah, no, he didn't. If you don't have um, these guys on the outskirts, uh, after a while, these guys will just kind of lose track on you. <laughs> okay, I I gotta go down. So basically, I, I pillared out on all the sides to. Uh, like uh, whatchamacallit, to place these guys, but I accidentally punched the pigman that I put over here, so I wasn't able to get a guy over here. So yeah, that's gonna need to be a correction. And I actually perfectly placed this. I, did, I didn't do anything to uh, really make sure it was good. I just kind of placed it where I thought it was good. And this placement actually ended up being like kind of perfect. Because as you can see, right there, that's that's a basalt delta. You know, if I press F3, basalt delta. The farm doesn't work in anything other than uh, like another waste. So uh, I, I'd say I got quite lucky in that regard. Um. But yeah, so uh, the farm's in a functional state now. Uh, the only thing that I got to do now is make the uh, make the mob sorter. Well, not the mob sorter. The uh, the item sorter, 
and uh, then we'll be pretty good. And uh, yeah, I, I was still seven before this, by the way. I was still level seven. So this is all from just like AFK. This farm is super overpowered when it comes to uh, this uh, this type of stuff. So I'm uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked about having this farm. And uh, okay, I'm uh, I'm back. I've. Uh, Pretty much finished up the farm here. I've uh, got all the guys in the corners all finished, and I've uh, I've made a sorting system. We're gonna be getting uh, we're gonna gonna get tons and tons of uh, drops. My uh, my one concern is uh, is rotten flesh. I seem to be getting rotten flesh in a out of proportional amount. Like I'm getting a lot, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long I can really AFK here without it completely breaking. Oops. Uh, yeah, we're wondering. I had a <laughs> I had a bunch of zombie pigmen fall down on me, so I had to expand out these corners as I was building this. Uh, but it's just a simple uh, item sorter. Uh, the only things that I'm sorting for is uh, nuggets, ingots, and uh, rotten flesh. The uh, the gold swords goes to uh, goes to a system over there where uh, as soon as the hopper detects that there's more than two, it'll start dispensing it into lava. So I know you can uh, you can get extra gold. I think you can get like a couple gold nuggets or something for gold swords, but I, I just don't think it's worth it because there is uh, there's so much. So yeah, I'm not I'm, I'm choosing to not really worry about it. Um, but yeah, so to get the farm really started, just gotta shoot a pigman. They come in. And they uh, they just start dying. Um, also, the other day when I had uh, tinkered with it, uh, friendly creatures is the uh, setting for minecart. So I'll just eliminate that, and I'll probably actually turn off that as well. So uh, yeah, we get we get tons of drops. Uh, the system never really clogs. That was one of the the uh, worries I was concerned about. Where uh, there would be uh, there would be too many drops coming in at once, and uh, you wouldn't be able to uh, successfully sort everything. But uh, that never seems to really happen, which uh, I'm very fortunate about. And uh, yeah, I did like a five, 10 minute AFK and uh, I got about a stack and a half of uh, gold and however much uh, zombie meat was in there. So uh, kind of, it could be pretty decent. I think if I, uh, I think if I did in uh, a few hours, I'd probably have all the gold I'd really need for a long time. But uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with this farm. Uh, it could be more efficient, but as as it goes, it, it doesn't really need to be very efficient. And uh, this 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 will be a good test if I can come down here and not have them bombard me. Yeah. Actually, they're it's seemingly working while I'm down here. So just uh, just a few minutes, and uh, yeah, like I was saying, I seem to be getting a lot more uh, rotten flesh. I wonder if these guys all nah seem to be off me for a sec. Um, I think I'm gonna really weird. 
as if I come up here, I think they'll, yeah, they, they retrack. ASAP. Um, yeah, I can now, uh, I can now get back to um, working on more villager stuff. Um, I can lower trade requirements by a considerable margin. Um, the stuff I'm looking to get is uh, I really want to get a uh, what should call it? Um, I want to get some farmers because uh, I want to start eating golden carrots as golden carrots are a little bit better than cod. Uh, I do have a lot of cod, which is kind of why I've been eating it. Uh, but I, you, you go through a lot of it and uh, they have the same hunger replenishment, I guess. They both do two and a half. Actually, golden carrots might do three. And... Uh, but they have uh, golden carrots have way way better saturation. Unless I can turn those back, and uh, XP is uh, no longer really an issue. I uh, I never really have a lot of XP at one time, so it's kind of weird to be walking around with a bunch of XP. But it's kind of how it is. So. Uh, I'm gonna be making a bunch of golden apples. I, ca I guess I got a I got a bunch of AFKing to do, uh, but that's all right. So uh, I think off camera, like uh, a lot of this stuff can just be done on my own, and I don't really need to uh, get more villagers on and off camera. Uh, I'll probably just do a very similar thing to what I've got uh, here, and I might get more of uh, more of these guys, the uh, the, the clerics, as uh, clerics are by far currently my best uh, my best trade. So uh, now that we have pretty much not all the supplies that we'll ever need to, to get, but we have, we have a lot of things now, and I don't really need to concern as much about getting the uh, the basics. I can now uh, I can now spend a lot more time. Oh well, that's where my wood went. I was wondering where this went. Uh, I can spend a lot more time uh, working on like just builds making this place uh, a little bit better uh, I know I said it in the last clip that I'm gonna finally start working on some more farms and I want to get passive mobs down here uh, that is very true I do want to do that and I also want to start working on the surface uh, if I'll if I'll show for, for just a quick second uh, the surface part of the farm is uh, of the base is really lacking There's almost nothing up here. This still takes forever to get up. Um, but really, the only thing up here is the original little uh, little lookout platform I had, which looks like a little boat. Do you even have anything up here? Got a lot of bamboo. Huh. Yeah, I don't I don't really have much in here. Um but there's uh, there's so much I could do up here. So I really want to start uh building stuff. Uh I really want to try and build um like tree houses and stuff. And just make it super lively. So that'll probably be stuff that I uh, I start to work on now that I have the uh Seriously? Okay, I guess it was the only one. And uh, also cover that up. So, 
have a have a lots of things to work on now, which is uh, which is really nice. As uh, in the past, I've been uh, I've been struggling to have uh, to not not to have things to work on, but to have things I want to work on. As uh, Quite a few things are uh, pain in the pain in the butt to really work on, but uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys uh, next time, where we'll uh, be uh, working on some new projects, in which uh, it's not required items. It's just kind of stuff that I want to do. So uh, yeah, see you guys next time.